These gentlemen have a lot to celebrate. Let me introduce them to you. To my left, Parker Gilbert, former chairman of the firm. He took Morgan Stanley public. Next to him, John Mack, the man who guided Morgan Stanley through the financial crisis. He is currently the chairman. And to his left, James Gorman. He is the firm's CEO. As you said, Matt, they're celebrating Morgan Stanley's 75th anniversary this week. But James, I'm going to start with you because we have something slightly more timely to talk about than Morgan Stanley's anniversary, which is Basel. Bank regulators agreed over the weekend on some rules for capital that give firms like yours a bit of clarity. And on that point, because there is that clarity now, or at least we're going to have it at hand very shortly, do you feel any more confident about raising Morgan Stanley's dividend or perhaps starting to buy back some stock? <laughs> I think, Eric, it's a little early to be talking about raising dividends and stock buybacks, but um, uh, clearly having some certainty, having the rules in place is what the market's been looking for. I think you're seeing that in the way the financials are trading today and the general tone in the market. Uh, we look forward to that certainty. Uh, we're comfortable with the way Basel is heading, both from liquidity and capital perspective, uh, but this is a long road. So we're a little too early to talk about buybacks or dividends. James, I'm going to turn the attention to John Mack, because John... So much of this firm is in your blood. You decided when you became chairman and James took over as CEO that you would remain in that post for, at the time you said, at least two years. We aren't at two years yet, but does James's leadership of this firm inspire you so greatly now that you think perhaps you might not stick around that long? Or are you having so much fun that perhaps to James's chagrin you might be here a little longer? Well, the two years is something the board and I discussed. It wasn't my decision. We talked together about that. I am having a lot of fun, and, and I think my sole purpose is to make sure we have a smooth transition and I can be helpful. So we're six months into it. I love what I'm doing. I'm very client-focused. And if my first meeting is not until 11 o'clock, I don't come in until 10. That's very different than the old days. So I want to be helpful. I want to be helpful with James and the firm, and I want to help clients. So as long as I can do that, uh, I'm on the two-year schedule. All right, that is John Mack. Now we need to speak with Parker Gilbert. Mr. Gilbert, your godfather and your stepfather founded this firm in 1935. If they were here today, what advice do you think they would be offering the CEO, James Gorman, and the chairman right here, John Mack? Maybe to retire. <laughs> well, you know, it's so different. Uh, in those days, the firm started with less than 100 people, $7 million in capital. And it was pretty much that way until about 1970. Uh, we grew maybe to 200 people. I, I think they just, they wouldn't understand what's happened. They, they couldn't fathom and, or imagine the complexity, the size of the business, and uh, they would nevertheless be very happy with the quality of the firm. Is, though, investment banking not fundamentally the same business today that it was back then in terms of the obligations that you have to your client and, frankly, in many cases, the needs of the client? No doubt about it. I mean, the firm for 75 years has been focused on service to clients. I mean, that is the keystone of Morgan Stanley. So that, that fundamental remains in place. John, two years ago this week, Wall Street was pronounced DOA. Right. Is Morgan Stanley celebrating its 75th anniversary proof that Wall Street is very much alive, or is it a little more complicated than that? No, I think it's proof we are very much alive. I mean, we went through a difficult time, the whole industry did. We've come through it, we're much stronger, we have more capital, we have less risk. Uh, we have a bigger organization with the Smith Barney acquisition. It's a much stronger firm. So I think it's proof that we're very well positioned and very much alive. James, back when this firm was founded in 1935, in the depths of the Great Depression, it didn't seem as though America had a particularly promising future. But the past 75 years have seen tremendous advances politically, economically, financially, technically, socially. But we are two months away from midterm elections. Where you stand right now, do you feel that the next 75 years is going to be as good to America as the last ones were? Oh, this, you'd never bet against the United States. This is a phenomenal country. We have population growth, which a lot of parts of the world don't. We have tremendous innovation. We have one of the best education systems in the world. So, yeah, I'm confident. I mean, we adapt, we adjust, just as you do in business. If there were one thing that you would like to see happen to ensure that that is the case, right here, right now, what is it? To ensure that we have the, the success going forward, I'd like to see businesses start to invest. I'd like to see consumers get back in the market, start to consume and invest. And I'd like to see our government support businesses and consumers in doing that. We need, we need to get on the front foot. Gentlemen, a quick word from all three of you before we go. 
people who've never worked on Wall Street don't really get it. And those who are outside the financial system are dubious, skeptical, perhaps even worse after what we've been through. If there's one thing about Morgan Stanley that should earn their respect, what is it? Parker Gill. Uh, why are you starting with me? <laughs> I think that the people are serious. The country will not do well without a strong financial system. The trust and confidence are absolutely critical, and these gentlemen are going to do a lot to continue to earn that. And uh, I think it's fundamental to this country that the financial system does well. John Mack, 10 seconds. Well, I think it's focus on the client, and that's something we've always done going back to when Parker's uh, father and stepfather started this company. Clients come first. And James? Integrity, a history built through quality, as these two gentlemen represent, and an incredibly bright future. All right. Gentlemen, thank you very much. 74 years of experience at Morgan Stanley here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. They're celebrating the firm's 75th anniversary this week.